the last section of chapter one is the psychology of testing software development including software testing involves human beings this is why psychology is an important aspect when we are dealing with software testing identifying defects whether it is in static testing or dynamic testing may be seen as a criticism against the product or its author so that verber or the analyst may have some problems with you the tester because he thinks that you are criticizing him there is an element in human psychology is called confirmation bias which means that most of the people find it difficult to accept information that disagrees with their beliefs for example the developer thinks that his code is correct so he has a confirmation bias which makes it difficult for him to accept that his code is not correct there is also some cognitive biases which means that it is difficult for people to understand the information that you the tester produced another psychological problem in software testing that people most of the time blame the person who tells them the bad news and of course this is the software tester so based on all these psychological factors people see testing as a destructive activity even though it contributes greatly to product quality but they think that it is a destructive activity and our job is to convince them that testing is a good thing to reduce these perceptions you should communicate any failures and any problems in a constructive way this way the tension between you the tester and all other authors is reduced testers and test managers must have good interpersonal skills communication skills are very important in software testing to build positive relationships with colleagues so what are the ways to communicate in a good way in software testing start with collaboration rather than battles remind everyone of our goal for better quality systems emphasize the benefits of testing for example tell the authors that the defect information will help him to improve his work products and will increase his skills also for the organization defects found will save time and money for them communicate test results and other findings in a neutral fact focused way without criticizing the person who created the defective item so don't focus on the person don't tell him you are wrong you did this in a wrong way no just write a defect report a neutral fact focused defect report write objective and factual defect reports and review findings try to understand how the other person feels and why they are acting negatively to the information what is the psychological factor that made them deal with you in that way confirm that the other person understood what you said and vice versa when we as an organization define the test objectives this is a very important psychological factor why because most people align their plans and behaviors with the objectives set by the team so if the management set some test objectives most of the time the teams will align themselves with these objectives and testing will be done in a better way of course you as a tester should also adhere to these objectives with minimal personal bias let's now talk about the tester and developer mindset testers and developers often think differently the primary objective of development is to design and build a product the developer thinks always about building something new but tester on the other hand tries to verify and validate the product and also find defects so these are different sets of objectives which require different mindsets we need the two mindsets in our project so that we have a better quality systems the word mindset reflects the individual's assumptions and his preferred methods for decision making and problem solving the tester mindset should include these things if you have these traits in your personality then most of the time you will be a good tester you need curiosity you need professional pessimism you need a critical eye and attention to detail also you need good communication skills like we said before of course with gaining experience these skills will grow with you as you advance in software testing field on the other hand the developer mindset consists of different interests like designing and building solutions rather than trying to find what is wrong with the solutions with the right mindset developers are able to test their own code but most of the time we need the tester to find the defects that the developer did not find and deliver them to him 
The testing activities are organized differently depending on the software development lifecycle model that we are using. But generally, having independent testers increases the defect detection effectiveness, especially in large complex or safety critical systems. Independent testers will bring a perspective which is different than the authors of the work products. Then they will find different defects than the authors, of course.